Hey, this is Nayla Latrice, and I am here to do a read for whoever turns this on or whoever finds this. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. I am available for personal reads. If you are interested, that information is down below in the description box, okay? I also encourage you to join my Patreon community. We do a live group reading every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern, okay? So it is tailored to those that are on the Zoom. So yeah, it's more personal. So all the information for that is down below. I look forward to seeing you guys over there. So let's go ahead and jump into your read. So immediately what we have out first is transformation right here and then we have trapped in fear so what i am picking up for you guys is the collective energy is that there is a lot of transformative energy going on many of you guys are going through rebirths at this time okay um you guys have had a lot of fears as you guys have uh, gone through this change i'm hearing alone lonely okay you guys have been on this spiritual journey uh spiritual awakening some of you guys are new to being a uh, uh to awakening to what you what and who you really are okay but you are on the right path do not allow these fears to keep you trapped there's a lot of fear energy that is here or past energy trauma energy that has you confused and making you feel like you don't know which way to go but that is all a part of your journey you need to have this fear you need to have this confusion at this time because it is what is pushing this transformation through it is what is helping you to find the clarity if you weren't confused then you wouldn't have anything to find clarity on makes sense okay right now you're building a very very firm foundation at this time again life may have been very rocky i also see birds two birds two crows that just uh, flew across the window okay so your ancestors are all around you they're sending you messages they they're guiding you on this journey so if you guys feel alone don't ever feel alone um but you guys have had many rocky times, but these rocky times have set your foundation. Some of you guys also may have some type of back pain or back problems at this time as well. Okay, so uh, you guys may want to go get that checked out as well if it continues to persist. But what I feel is that you are all you're 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 at the peak of your journey. You have been this is why you have this pain and it may not literally be back pain for some of you guys, but it's like this quote unquote pain of life uh, traveling up this rocky uh, terrain here. But you are almost at the top. So do not finish. Do not stop. You're setting up your foundation and look at what you have. You have this love begins once you get to that top. So you may have been wondering. Uh, if you guys are single, where is the where is the 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 proper love that you desire in your life? And spirit says there's some things that you have to go through on your own before we can send the right people in your life. You can't have the right people in your life stuck in all of this spirit energy. So you just have to go through this transformation period by yourself. But do remember, you are not by yourself, and this is just temporary. You will not be for you will not be alone forever. Okay, so get that out your head. I'm also hearing watch your self-talk. Talk very positive to yourself. If you are desiring to manifest, which you all should be, then you have to pay attention to how you are speaking to yourself and the words that you are saying because that is literally what is manifesting. You guys are very bored at this time. You guys feel like you guys, uh, I see somebody like looking at their phone, like they're scrolling through their phone and then they just turn it off. It's like, there's nothing there. They've seen it all, done it all. But spirit is saying, don't be discontent and bored during this time. It's time for you to figure out what you like. What are your desires? How do you expect other people, whether it's friends, whether it's coworkers, whether it's uh, romantic relationships, if you don't know how to keep yourself in entertained how can you expect for someone else to keep you entertained when they ask you hey what is it that you love to do what are you gonna say uh i don't know you have to start doing these things on your own find a way to make you happy let's say you are uh you're immobile you 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 don't have a way to get around and you're just stuck in the house maybe some of you guys are on locked down or on lockdown or whatever uh the situation may be you have to dance inside the house 
You have to dance when you're in the shower, dance when you're brushing your teeth. You have to find reasons to make yourself happy and get out of this boredom because that exciting energy that you get yourself in is showing spirit that you have what it takes to get to 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 believe in yourself. It's about your self belief and how you feel on your own. Okay, and that happy, exciting energy is what is going to usher in the right type of energies. Look at this. You have shadow work that you still are in, that you are still completing. It's falling right here under this transformation. Okay. So all of this shadow work, I'm hearing face yourself. You have to face yourself. You have to balance out your energies, the yin, the yang, the sun, the moon, the light, the dark. You have to be comfortable with all of you. Don't shy away from your dark side. Okay. You have to be comfortable and know how to use both of your sides. You have to know when it's like, okay, I'm all nice and I'm all good. But you also have to know when to say, all right, now enough is enough. Back the back up. You have to be able to let people stand your ground, stand your boundaries. And look, we just got done talking about that. Love will be here for you as soon as you complete this transformation. Absolutely. Exactly what you have been asking for and wanting. Um, I did just, even though this is a general, uh, some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo possibly. Um, I just did their read and these, both of these cards came out, um, and together, they came out together. This read, they came out separately, but it's mighty funny that they're falling right, uh, uh, next to each other. Okay. Or under each other. So you guys can go back and watch that Virgo read if you are interested in that okay spirit is telling you guys to choose wisely you have some choices coming up also understand that it's the choices that you have made in the past that has gotten you here and it's the choices that you will continue to make that is going to lead you to the future that you desire so pay attention to what you are choosing and who you are choosing in your life Literally, let's say if you get a DM from somebody and you don't know them, but you're just bored, don't respond. Don't respond because you're showing spirit that you're just going to entertain anything and we don't entertain anything, okay? We only want the right things to entertain. That was just an example. Spirit, what other messages do you have for whoever comes across this reading? What other messages do you have for whoever comes across this reading? I'm going to take this one. It's calling to me. Wow. Wow. Spirit said, I said what I said. Choose wisely. You guys have been waiting a very long time. It feels like you have been running around in circles, round and round and round. And it's like maybe you feel like you're ending up in the same place. But you're gaining experience. You're gaining endurance. You're gaining confidence. Do not give up on yourself. Also, we have this number two up here. So connections. Also, um, a decisions. Time to make a decision is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing procrastinate. So some of you guys could have been procrastinating on some type of decisions for far too long. And Spirit is saying it is time to go ahead and make the necessary decisions. Spirit, what other additional messages do you have for whoever comes across this video? What additional messages do you have for whoever comes across this video? These are chakra cards. Service. So if you guys have been wondering what it is you're supposed to do in life, maybe far as your career is concerned or your purpose, you are to be of service. OK, um, yeah, many of you guys are very spiritual beings and it's time for you to trust your, your spirituality. It's time to, for you to trust the spiritual gifts that you have been blessed with and share those gifts with the world. It's time to to, again, be of service. It's time to start living your purpose. Wisdom. Many of you guys are very, very wise and you guys know it, but you guys have collected all of this, um, all of this knowledge, but yet you're not sharing it. And spirit is saying, what are you doing? What are you waiting on? Look at this. She has the world inside of her. You're keeping the world inside of you when it, you need to share it with others because you have information that is going to help other people. Look, it's all about perception. How are you perceiving your life? You need a different outlook on life. Don't be afraid. I feel like many of you guys are afraid to show the world who you guys really are. And that's also part of this fear energy that is around you. Okay. 
look, confusion. You guys have some confusion going on, but again, we talked about this confusion earlier. You have to go within yourself to be able to clear up that confusion. Bittersweet, you guys are cutting people out of your life. I just saw 10, 10, and 10, 11 on the timer, so we are on the right path. Also, pay attention to the thoughts that you are thinking because they are manifesting rapidly. The ones are just the, the 10, 10, 11, 11s, they're reminders of to pay attention to what you're thinking so you can say, Oh, I'm not thinking uh, positive. So this is a reminder for me to begin to think positive. Okay. That's what those uh, wands are there for. This bittersweet, you're cutting people off that you didn't think that you would have to cut off. But again, you have to let these people go. You have to let some people go in your life. And yes, it may be bittersweet, you know, but I feel like you guys are forcing relationships there could be some people you guys almost are like people pleasing like look at me look at me but these people are only in your life because they know that they can take advantage of you but they're not real people they're not the people that you're really supposed to have in your life so spirit is saying to cut these people off and that is why truly in your heart you are really bored so even if you're laughing and smiling and having a good time you can't fool god God knows what's really in your heart and in your heart, you're really not fulfilled. Even if you're laughing and smiling with these people on the outside. Okay. And spirit is saying, you got to let these people go. Don't be confused. Don't be confused. Look at what we have under here. Completion, death. Look at that. It's time to cut these mother lovers off. Mother chunkers. Look, see rejection is God's protection is what I'm hearing. These people have been rejecting you, even if, they, again, you have people that have been smiling in your face, but secretly they're talking about you behind your back. They've been rejecting you and you don't even know it, but that's what's keeping you trapped in this fear because it's like your higher self knows, but you're too confused to understand and figure it out. But you have to reject these people, reject the rejectors, reject the people who's rejecting you. It may take some soul searching. It may take really going within yourself to figure out who these people really are. You may just have to cut everybody and everything off, cut your phone off for a day or two and really just go within yourself and say, self, what is it? Who is it that I need to cut off and release from my life? Please show me. Please reveal it to me. Please bring me the answers very clear. That way you can move forward and do what you need to do for your life. That way you can stop stunting your own growth. Okay. I am going to leave this message here. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Again, I am available for personal reads. You can find that information in the description box. I also do accept donations to keep this channel going you can also find that in the description box and lastly consider joining my patreon where we do live readings it is tailored to uh, those that are on the zoom i would love to see you on there every sunday okay so uh yeah until the next video bye